Hey everybody, welcome back. We are here, we're still queer, and some of us have underwear. Um, let's, let's, I don't think we have anything left on our list of shit we're supposed to do today. Well, we do need to do, at some point, we need to do a, um... Oh yeah, those are the weird missions that popped up on my phone. Um, we do need to do... What was I going to say? Uh, a a, a calyx, or whatever it is. <laughs> In one of these things, it tells me I have to do this today. Mmm. This. Um... Oh, that's interesting. I haven't got up to 3,500 3, points. If I do, does that mean I get this shit? Only got one day before it refreshes. No, 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 no. I don't want this whole episode to just be uh, Simulated Universe again. Uh, we are going to... Press V, go to Yarilo Town. I don't know. Um, apparently we've only got four out of seven, seven treasures on this floor and... Oh, should I quickly check out... No, 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 no. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Let's go. We're leaving right now. Storyline. It's getting late. Where to now? We've got to go see this chick who we have not got. No matter how much we hey, might want her. You came. That was fast. All the women in this have like the exact same voice. Uh, what trouble has Wildfire gotten into? Didn't I tell you? No, you didn't. Long story short. What? The underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. Mm. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. I love her bustle. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Okay, we can help. Uh, let's go. As for you, the chief will decide your fate when we see him. Oh, smash things. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. Oh shit, she's still with us. That's weird. You're about to come face to face with reality. Oh, do we want to do any last level up, level upping of, of anybody? I'm feeling pretty happy with the team. Has, have we ascended, uh, Don Hung? Yes, we have. So, everybody's still only level 20. Oh, we haven't leveled her all the way up. Sure, why not? Hey, I know I said just last episode that I wasn't going to do that for everybody, but, I mean... Getting people past uh, 20 isn't exactly... <laughs> uh, it feels like a lot right now, but... Uh, we haven't pushed her up yet. So who's in our team right now? The, these four. Okay. I'd quite like to get um, her in here as well. And oh, we don't have whatever this is. Where do you get it from? Robot settlement... Automatons, rather enemies, great mine, which might be where we're about to go. Simulated universe enemies, 
Okay, okay. Hopefully we'll get it in the next um, sequence of the game. Let's go! The Great Mine. There you go. Answer huh? to that Is question. Is the doctor lady? What's Natasha doing here? Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Um... What's going on with these people? Miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could this situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news. How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. <laughs> Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. Couldn't keep it hidden from them. Well, if it's that Some big local tower in the middle of everything. The situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. <sighs> I don't really want to say either of these things. Um... I'll say this one. The vein should belong to those who discovered it. As it happens, that's exactly the law we have down here. But the vagrants have their own custom. See it, share it. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't Break be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Sure. Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. We came here willing to help. Oh, that's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. New feature available, relics. Provides the wearer, hang on, hang on. Microphone issues. Provides the wearer with bonus stats. Gains bonus buffs if the wearer has a complete set equipped. <gasps> How do I know so much? How do I know so much? Oh, it's just appeared. It's a whole, whole new thing. What? A stupid hat? What? <laughs> Select the relic. Relics can offer stat bonuses to characters. Equip. Select a relic for the hands. Musketeer of wild wheat. Oh, this is like artifacts. Okay. Uh, two piece sets increases attack by 12%. Collect relic sets to activate powerful set effects. Equip. Did I just equip that to Ginger G? Okay. Planar ornaments, what did it say? Are unlocked after equipping, uh, after completing the Trailblaze mission. No time for me, my friend. Okay. So we can only have four sets on at the moment, which makes sense. Um... Do we have any other relics at all? We've only got the one. Okay. That's cool. Um, I 
feel like I might put Natasha back on the team just because I'm like vibing with her. Ooh, ooh, can we level these up? Yes, we can. I guess because we ascended. Hang on, let's do Ginger G first because she's the boss. Um. So what's it? What's it increasing? Just increase the stats of it. Okay, that's awesome. I'm happy with that. Um, level up. That went from 62 to 68, I think. That went from 10 to 11. Nice. And there's some items that we need to do those. So let's, we've got heaps of this, this stuff. So let's just do everybody's. Just a little stat boost for everybody. Um, uh, Don. Oh, he needs different stuff, which is interesting. Okay. 18 to 19. She hasn't been ascended yet. Because she can't be. You know, there'll be a point that I remember that. Or there won't be. We'll find out. Uh, that's right. Wait. Oh, I've already done her. Okay. Ooh, more of those coins needed to do these guys. Nice. Uh, cavern relics are phantasmal equipment preserved and reconstructed by the Fragmentum. Oh, interesting. They can offer stat boosts to a character and provide extra buff buffs when worn as a set. You have a chance to receive cavern relics as you trailblaze. You may also challenge caverns of corrosion to obtain cavern relics more efficiently. Okay. Uh, team set up. I'd like to bring... Natasha. Need a different element, don't we? I can not bring Ginger G, eh? Hmm. I like her too much. Hmm? Okay. Let's go into the ooh, go into the mines. Miner's weekly issue. Should quickly read this. <sighs> issue 205. Fortification. January 2nd, 699. All rock crab nest nests in Boulder, Town, Boulder Town's Great Mine have been destroyed. As of November 17th, 8am, the last rock crab nest in Boulder Town's Great Mine has been destroyed. At around August this year, the miner Steve and his colleagues discovered the rock crab nest in the Great Mine during their shift, following which all the workers in the Great Mine had a sumptuous meal. After that, the miners discovered more rock crab nests one after the, after the other while mining. This paper previously revealed that the Great Mine Administrative Committee decided to provide salt-based baked rock crabs for the workers' din uh, din dinners for the next three consecutive weeks. A worker who wished to remain anonymous said, at least change it up a little, why must it be the same thing every day? Concerning this, the Administrative Committee responded as follows, you are free to make your own food, if not just sit quietly and eat your rock crabs in silence. In spite of the miners' intensifying protests against rock crabs, the sad irony is there would be no such opportunity when they eventually came to miss the taste of rock crab in the future. The expansion of the rock crab's nest could lead to the collapse of the mine. The supervisor and the administrative, com administrative committee of the Grape Mine finally decided that, in order to ensure the safety of the mine, there needs to be a continuous effort to completely eliminate hidden dangers. At present, all rock crab nests in Boulder Town's Grape Mine have been destroyed. An accidental leak in Boulder Town's Grape Mine, the trapped miner Peak, has been 
uh, rescued. I think this has changed subject now. In the morning of November 19th, a water leak accident occurred at face 4707 in Boulder Town's Great Mine. The airflow through the face was obstructed and a minor peak lost contact. After receiving the accident report, wildfire immediately dispatched a search and rescue team to the accident site. They sought the cooperation of the mining team in the Great Mine and together overcame rough and complex environment in the mine. The, probably. Uh, the joint effort took strict precautions to prevent follow-up accidents and tirelessly drained the flooded area while searching for the trapped miner. Finally, he was successfully rescued in 32 hours. As of the publication of this news, the miner's physical signs are normal and he's in a good state, good mental state. Uh, according to the miner, Peak, he was in a deep sleep when the accident occurred. This, is, this likely helped to preserve his mental health during the incident. The miners' actions seriously violated many regulations in the miners' safety manual, but fortunately no one was seriously injured. The appropriate punishment and re-education will be implemented after he recovers. I've gone into, like, news anchor voice. Rivertown fragmenta uh, Fragmentum Monster Encounters intensifies. Encounters between Rivertown and the Fragmentum Monsters intensify. According to information from Wildfire, there is a trend of the monsters... Uh, that have invaded Rivertown, leaving the town. Thanks to traffic uh, the traffic blockade on the main road, a small number of these mon mindless monsters left the town and were dealt with by wildfire. Years ago, Rivertown was completely overrun by monsters from the Fragmentum and is now in a state of abandonment. All miners, please stay away from this place as much as possible. Don't let greed tempt you to return for property or possessions. Please ensure that personal safety is a top priority. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if it does that in the States, but in New Zealand, uh, there's this weird, like, tendency for... Um, how do we get up there? Um, people to always end on a falling note if they're in news. But that's it, because everywhere else, if people go up at the end of their sentences. Have any of you seen my husband? He's a good-looking guy. Tall and thin. Oh, you again. Quit joking around. No need to add to the confusion. You think I'm joking? I saw you taking down the names of the miners. That's why I came over. Oh. Uh, you can put the name down here. What was that all about? Did she not have a husband? Um, how do I get in? Don't come any closer. The road's blocked. Stay where you are. Oh, easy. Why are you hiding in there? Don't you know what happened in the mine? <clears throat> well, what's that got to do with us? Do you think we're the same as those thugs? Is anyone with you injured? We have a doctor. She can care for your wounded. Yeah, right. And you can guarantee that no one there with you is out for blood. I don't believe it. Stay where you are. <sighs> These guys. But like, how do I get in? Uh, around the back? Oh, we've got full energy. No? Oh, up here. <laughs> The giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on. Let's... That person up ahead, is he asleep? Where? Let's Ooh, head up and take a look. He might need help. Hmm. Lots of treasure. Was there, was there a piece of uh, gear in there? I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it the hat? I think it was a... Oh! It's a different thing. Thief of Shooting Meteor increases break effect by 16% for the two-piece set. Hmm. Maybe we'll put that on Dawn. Recommended gear? Oh! What? What just happened? No, no, no. Yeah, 
No, I'm not mixing sets on people. That's just confusing. <laughs> okay, there's somebody ahead who might be asleep. Let's let's let Natasha be our uh, driver for a second. Oh, it's the guy who was asleep in the mine. His eyes are open. Falling asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm. What? Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Mercila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. Yay for not American accents. time I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Um... And then where did wildfire um, go? Further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago. And they're fully armed. We poor, defenceless, good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a, for a nap. <sighs> Mate. It seems like you have narcolepsy. Maybe you shouldn't be wandering I around by yourself. That That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Hello. Elaine, are you okay? Are you hurt? <clears throat> Zila, thank goodness. I I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. <sighs> You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. What robots? Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. Yes, I want some people to kill the that I can feel. Enter. About time. Human only conflicts are so boring. Exactly, and I don't want to feel guilty. So if I can kill some robots, I won't feel guilty. Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. Mm. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. <gasps> then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. This will be what the lady from upstairs is, is in, involved with, right? Like... What do we even need humans for if we can just replace them with robots? Ugh. <laughs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. <sighs> You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Farrog's ah. robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. I do like how they all say her name. Robots? Zila? Aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. <laughs> That's not the only thing. Whoops. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it r responding? <sighs> Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? <sighs> You idiots, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some geomara. 
This is a perfect opportunity. You mean all the boxes and oh, crates of Geomero that's just lying around in the whole town? Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Oh. Could I have Sela in my party? Fighting is meaningless. Uh, okay, so these guys are weak to fire, so we might want to have Esther in our team, but in the meantime, let's do this. Let's make it quick. Yeah. You can't run. <laughs> Try that again. Boo! No interest in conflict. My turn. Yeah. You can't run. Nice. That'll take. <laughs> I mean, I presume we're not killing them. Fleeing at the first yeah. sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Uh-huh. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa. What the heck? Beep, beep, beep. Searching for potential user. That's sad beep. Beep, beep, beep. Voice print detected. Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. What? How, how long has Perhaps it been here for? it's an antiquity, left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity? Uh... Beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the Home Use Object Finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. What? Why A is it called use Richard? Object Finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an interastral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an interastral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Um, yeah, take it. Beep, beep, beep. Yes, yes, yes. When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy. That's me. Okay. Cool, but I actually just wanted this chest. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so this lift is locked and out of order. Beep, beep, beep. Not authorized to use the lift. Okay. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna change. Oh, messages. The Astral Express family. Found some strange items. Says me. Relics. 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 These are relics. Thanks. It doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> what is a relic? <laughs> a construct made from a data stream. Many believe they're linked to Stellarons and the Fragmentum phenomenon. What we refer to as relics are objects corroded by the Fragmentum whose data is saved and then reconstructed. Thanks. That also doesn't tell me. So what is a relic? <laughs> you could con consult Herta. She's an expert in relic research. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, family. Uh, have I got another one in here? Or is it just the same one from before? Oh, another random. Okay, cool. Maybe this, these are happening now because I've ascended? I don't know. Um, or if you're one of the people watching the Let's Play, hi. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come and say hi to people when they send me friend requests, but I won't accept them. I have no idea how to pronounce that. That looks like Thai, maybe, or Malay? Bin Thien? 
maybe? I don't know. Apologies for mispronouncing your name. Hi there. Um, but what I wanted to do was change my party. Let's get some fire in here. I wish I had another fire character, but... We make do. We make do. Uh... I didn't mean to use the big one, but there we go. It happened. Too late to repent. Uh, cool. Huh? <laughs> Here. Let's go. My brain's just processing, Tina. That's why I've got on quiet. <laughs> I'm confused as to why characters have. Try that again. <laughs> Explosions everywhere. Um, do people only have elemental you weaknesses have while me. they have a shield, and then after that they don't? Uh, oh, Madden Tunnel is collapsing, collapsing, collapsing. Madden Tunnel is collapsing, crystalline buddy. Build it up with wooden stakes, wooden stakes, wooden stakes. Build it up with wooden stakes, crystalline buddy. Wooden stakes will bend and break, bend and break, bend and break. Wooden stakes will bend and break, crystalline buddy. Mine all the geo marrow, geo marrow, geo marrow. Mine all the geo marrow, crystal crystalline buddy geo marrow is not with me not with me not with me geo marrow is not with me crystalline buddy um the meaning of the song may simply be related to the difficulties in the construction of the madden 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 tunnel However, its exact location is unknown. Only the song survives. There, are, there also exist other theories of its origin, a result of resistance to fragment corrosion. Uh, there's another theory. Fragmentum, a result of resistance to fragmentation. Um, there's another theory. Fragmentum monsters appeared suddenly in many of the mines as fragmentum activity increased. It was too dangerous to examine the deep underground mines one by one, so the Silvermain Guards stopped the fragmentum monsters' invasion by continuously bombarding the Madden Tunnel. Crystalline Buddy was be believed to be banter about the fragmentum monsters, but because the existence of the Madden Tunnel couldn't be verified, many of them couldn't, don't believe it actually happened. Uh, and then old world's primitive, primitive idea of sacrifice. Other theories relate to primitive cultures from the old world that sacrifice can pretend, prevent tunnels, protect tunnels from collapsing. However, that theory doesn't work uh, in the underground because mine tunnels will collapse no matter how many people's lives are sacrificed. Yeah, interesting. What's down this little side bit? Oh, hey, find me a treasure. Ooh. Isn't that all you need to do? Please follow the instructions on the panel and conform to the exploration path. Let's follow him to find treasure. Hostile enemy. Fighting is meaningless. You say that, but like you fight all the time. So. Who will it be? Told you I could fight. <laughs> Phew. Uh. Here you go. You can do this. Rules are made to be broken. I'm really interested in how they um, have made the detecting obstacles in the way. Please clear the path. Hey, what's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. I've got Trisha to find. Let's get closer and take a look. Hey. Bountiful treasure! What do we get? 
We got another thief's face. That sounded really weird. Um, you can have a thief's face increases your HP and your defense because it's blue. Aren't you special? I feel really conflicted about opening those when I'm not at empty. Ah, cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geo Marrow and hog it all to yourselves. But these guys aren't even miners. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. Yeah, like it's one thing to be like, everybody in the underground deserves a right to the resources. I get that. But like, if you're not helping to mine, then why should you get anything? Like, I believe in socialism. But it, you can't just steal off people. <laughs> You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. And you don't even try hiding it. Disgraceful. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. <laughs> it's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire are in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! Uh, let's save them. I'm going to. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Mate, I do not Shut give a flying fuck. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Yeah, it'd be nice if you were actually in our party, though, The Sheila. truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. Actually, there's no point in doing this. Uh, oh, fine. The sanctuary is but a vision. <laughs> uh, what I was trying to say before is I'm really interested in how they've managed to make the voices work both <laughs> fast <laughs> and slow. Um, I just think it's really nicely designed. Uh, game design. Sound design. No manners, huh? Turn. Sure is. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Oh, Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly uh <laughs> nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. And my inability to change where the camera is. Um, what do the robots want? Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. Well, what does he want? The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed became a major player in the underworld. Mm-hmm. 
Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? Th that can command robots? No, I I've never heard of anything like... <laughs> Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. So... Can we still get through? If you guys don't know, those of you who might be new, uh, I, amongst many things, am a professional writer and often write for video games. And one of the first laws of writing for video games is um, keep it snappy. <laughs> Even when you're telling complex and interesting storyline, keep it quick and don't fill the air with arbitrary words because people are here for a fun time and a fast time. Most of the time. Uh, we haven't found wildfire yet. Yeah, you still need to talk with the chief. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? I'm not afraid. Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? I'll be honest, you guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield... Can we hurry up? You wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarok. Like, we don't care. This isn't important. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. Like, like I'm, I'm pro story. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, hey, where did that weird? Oh, here we go. The Celtics thingy. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, electricity and wind. Hang on. How does this work in terms of the treasure? Let's do four challenge waves. And let's bring uh, our girl. What's R2 support about? Game modes allow support characters to assist in combat. Use friends or system recommended support characters. These are like other people's characters? Are they like live when they play? I'm so confused. Oh, hello. Sexy boy. Uh, when the wearer hits an enemy and is like, I'm, I'm confused. I don't want to have strangers playing with me. <laughs> It's what she said. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was awful. Anyway, let's go. Fighting is meaningless. Sure. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Phew. Yeah. Just like explosion. This song's for you. Let's rock. I've no interest in conflict. Uh, but I feel like you do. At the center Time for of the main event. Your being. Uh, let's 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 do this. Ready Just to lose to, yourself? Um, you can fight it or rock with it. Okay, uh, let's give another shield to somebody. Yeah. I love Fighting those guys just like blowing up for no reason. 
<laughs> like I know Time that there's a reason <laughs> in the scheme of things, but <laughs> it just feels like there isn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, shields for everybody. Try that again. Let's make it quick. Oh, I don't have any huh. good shit. I have no interest in con. Let's rock. Told you I could fight. Yeah. Nice. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh goodness me! Rules are made to be broken. Too late to repent. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. Cool. I still don't really see the point of those. But, um, you know, here we are. Uh, let's get this. We might as well. We're going further in. Um. Let's fight some robots. Is this the right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. Is it gonna blow up in our faces? It's completely blocked by the mine card. I'm just gonna speed Easy. through this. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Hmm. Even the pen connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. <laughs> we need to find spare parts we can use nearby. <sighs> beep, beep, beep. Do you need to find something? How is fixing this cart help? gonna get it out of the way? How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. We said come we needed on. to find something. The name of the object you were looking for. Oh well, aren't you confident? Where's the input interface? Minecart pin. Minecart wheel set. Confirm. Request is being beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please come in. Oh, I bet, hope we never need more than three items. Activate home use object finder to reveal the direction of the hidden item. Beep, beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral piece of appliances store. Okay. Oh, we got shoes. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Oh, okay, so you sort of Let triangulate it. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? How convenient! So, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Findy to find him, right? Mm. Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Beep, beep, beep. Initiating search for beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please. Cool, we got the pen. Um, R2. Beep, beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. What does that red color mean? Does it mean it's like not on this beep, map? Beep, beep, beep. Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, yeah. beep, beep. Finding will create beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. That's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, beep, beep. It was 
There's nothing. Beep, beep, beep. Current search complete. <sighs> Entering sleep mode. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without... Well, not that long. But that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. Are <sighs> you gonna do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've gotta be self-reliant down here. Watch. You might learn something. Confirm. All right, mission accomplished. <laughs> Quick work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart. Fuck me, dice. Uh, push the minecart. There's also a robot. The robots the will have seized the road ahead by now. We should go carefully. Watch. Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there. Yeah, I know. We're gonna fight it. Model. It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go. Oh, why do they keep throwing me into these without letting me use my powers? And he got first target. Move carefully. Um, that is really irritating. What are we dealing with here? Let's um, ready to lose yourself. Do this. You can fight it or rock with it. Move carefully. Oh, that's a pretty annoying. good crowd today. Do I have enough? Yes. Turn it up. Uh, lock on is on. Gin -gin -gin. <laughs> So yeah, let's do this. Try that again. I've no interest in conflict. This song's for you. Keep up. Told you I could fight. Um. The truth of life and death. Revealed in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Tough luck running into me. That's annoying. I want to shoot more damage than that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you guys can just go on auto. It's just a scratch. Now. You can't run. Oh, it's disabled for this battle. Why? Fighting is meaningless. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. My turn. Uh, I'm gonna risk this because I yeah. want to do some damage on this guy. Try that again. I have no interest in conflict. This song's for you. <laughs> Told you I could fight. Can you just kill him? Let's make it quick. What just came out of there? Like a fox or something came out of it. Um, we lost a little bit of health, so I might as well go back for this. Now we've got a little side path here, so I'm going to just check this out. Oh, do I have to read this? Uh, issue 205, fortification, blank, blank, 698. Heating pipe leakage discovered at the mine dorm repaired. On December 22nd, Monday, at around 1700 hours, a heating pipe leakage was reported, which severely affected the heating in the accommodation area. Mining, miner Muka was able to report this instant incident to the Great Mine Supervisor in time for the latter to arrange for emergency repairs at the site of the accommodation era area and do the relevant repairs. On December 23rd, around 600 hours, the repair was leaking. The, uh, the repair of the leaking pipeline was completed and normal heating was restored. Hauling accident occurred to East Boulder Town Mining Team Number One. 
On December 26, according to minor Andre, he learned from a friend who lives near the clinic that there was a hauling accident in the mining operation in eastern Boulder Town. Three cases of minor injury and one of major injury were reported. All injured personnel have now been transferred to the Boulder Town Clinic for diagnostic treatment. According to reliable sources, the accident was due to the aging of hauling mine car tracks, causing a hauling mine to overturn while in operation. The Great Mine Area Supervisor immediately organised for all workers to be acquainted with the relevant safety education and requested that maintenance on the hauling mine car track be carried out at least once a month to ensure similar accidents can be prevented. Great Miner Orga has a son. On December 27, Orga, our fellow miner, returned for her, from his week-long vacation and brought good tidings from home. Orga's wife, Mary Nee, successfully gave birth to a son, and both are in good health and spirit. Let's all congratulate Orga. In addition, Orga is putting out a call with a prize to help name his son. The one suggesting the chosen name will receive a garlic-flavoured bellobog sausage that Orga himself bought. Wow, what a delight. Okay, so this is obviously a little camp. You can't have fires inside mines. Even I know that. Um, uh, let's see if we can put the fourth piece on for... Wait, 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 wait. Shoes! Increases wearer's speed. Okay, so she's got. Do we have any more pieces of the. Um. Thing? We don't, but we could put him in a full set of the Musketeers set, so I will do that. Just because he. It does really feel a bit underpowered. Um, oh, I'm not reading this. Whatever it is, I'm not reading it. You can't torment me like this game. Do I have to keep pushing this? No. Okay. Freeze. Phew. Fighting is meaningless. Okay. <laughs> Fight. Does she have any? She does. Let's give it to the <laughs> tank. Here. Look at how much more health Ginger G has than um, you can't run. Servo. No interest in conflict. <laughs> nice work, Don. Nice work. You couldn't have done it without me. We got some seeds. Fantastic. Oh, we got we got a piece of the thief set. Um, let's put that on. Why are we in this menu? With the gloves, I believe. Oh, we've got two pieces of this. Um, increases the wearer's break effect. Mm, yeah, I feel like that would be a better set for Don to have on, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, she can have, she can have the two set piece as well. Seeing it up close, this vein's even more spectacular. Also, how did anybody I miss it? I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Hmm. Why? Go. You always gotta go down the side paths. Some more gloves. And let's just attack this guy with a normal thing of ice. See what that does. Nothing. And then their health is even taken off. Oh well, at least they didn't surprise me, I guess. Um... Meaningless. <laughs> I 
do quite enjoy how these guys just like blah, 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 and explode. <laughs> oh shit, how long have I been playing for? I haven't even been paying attention. Where's my timer? Oh, almost an hour. Well, over an hour. Um, gaseous liquid. Awesome. Let's, um, there's, here's, a, here's a little space anchor. Um, I guess I'll stop here? It kind of feels like a weird moment to stop it because we haven't actually done anything. Um... Ooh, baths. Shall I see if I can get through to there and then finish the episode on that note? Oh, well, the storyline came for us, so here this we are. Thing. What? So this is what everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparog, it's such a massive vein. I've never seen so much Geomero before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the ore in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team and Wildfire... They don't understand your actions. If only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Not if it causes Human behavior war. will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Sparag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila. Subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Sparog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. Yeah, but if you're trying to prevent fighting by just doing more fighting then you're not actually helping anything and more fashionably dressed too uh, hey is he about to leave what about the girl in red we must leave clara external variables have triggered a calculation reset the furnace core hub requires protection please mills don't hit them too hard <sighs> i was getting bored of those minions Time for a real fight. Come at me! Once again, you have not actually been helping with the fighting. At all. <laughs> this is bullshit. Um... Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Move carefully. Let's 
Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. This song's for you. Ooh. Here we go. The Stop truth problem. of life and Oops. death. Revealed in an instant. No, 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 no. How do I exit out of this situation? Well, I guess I'm here. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> My turn. Yes, defense is required at this point. <laughs> Here. I've no interest in conflict. We got taunted. Let's make it quick. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I wanted to attack him anyway. It's not like I wanted to do something else. <laughs> Try that again. Too late to repent. Mm. Let's go. Huh. Pretty good crowd today. Rules are made to be broken. This song's for you. Let's rock. Mm. <laughs> Here. Uh, um, let's 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 do ready this. to lose yourself. You can fight it or rock with it. Let's make it quick. Huh. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Bullshit. Um, let's see if this can take him out. Watch this awesome move. That way, I don't have to um uh, decide whether to use her points for shields <laughs> or not. Fighting is meaningless. Here we go. Phew. Not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot. Which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. That girl in red. Who the heck is she? Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelo. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. Why are your mouths <laughs> not moving? Oh, Chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And uh, who are your friends here? Aliens. Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. Uh, pleased to meet you. We're here to make friends with Wildfire. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? I feel like the fact that his mouth is not moving is a bug. We explain what happened in our mission to look for the Stellaron. <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the Overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. 
Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. I've never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Maybe he's a ventriloquist. Um... Who's Coco Lea? I'm gonna say that. The current though. Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses oh. sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Oh. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Maybe sworn he's enemy. from. <laughs> Not how I see it. The, the item. young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. Mm. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Uh, do you mean the war with the antimatter lesion? Yeah, I remember hearing this world was invaded by the Legion hundreds yes, of years ago. Yes, we know, much. Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. Hot from fucking evil In which case, evil, we need evil, to think of a lady. way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. I love his or eyeliner. get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. Uh, what should we do? Talk We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... I mean, we did just find him. It's difficult to say. His monsters, his robots. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. Yeah, no kidding. As for our silver main girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Okay. Oh, we got a CD. How exciting. Um... Well, I think that's a great spot to finish up. Um... How's our, how's our Stellar Jade situation going? I don't imagine we'll have enough for a, a, a roll, but it'd be nice to know how close we are. <sighs> okay, that's nice. Five hundred and fifty-five. That's a very pleasing number. I would like to do another warp on her before it's over, if possible. But I mean, that's four days remaining. We got around about five hundred today from just mucking around, and we do have five on here, which is a very tempting thing to pull on. But I'm not going to because I was so disappointed last time. Um. Cool, well, um, hmm. this isn't actually where I wanted to be. I wanted to look at our missions. 
Okay, so we've just got main quest to continue with, and um, what's our relic situation looking like now? Got gloves. Okay, we don't have any pants or sh shirts in the thief set, so we'll just wait for that. I could just press this and put on recommended gear. That's weird. Don't like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, should we just fight this guy? No, 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 no. Next episode. Next episode. One thing I really wanted to ask you guys is, particularly because of how irritating this game is being in terms of how slow everything is. Um, Cheese. I'm really curious if you people of the internet are watching this on double speed or one and a half speed. And if you are, which I would be in your position, is there anything I can do to make that process better for you? Like, should I talk slower? If I'm talking at the speed of all the characters, then does it make it easier for you to put everything at 1.5 speed? Oh, that feels really weird. <laughs> or does it not matter? Da, 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 da. Yeah, so um, uh, let me know if there's anything, because I <sighs> we've never really thought about that in terms of our um, video design um, before, because usually there's plenty going on, but this is... It's a grind. It's a grind. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to stop there and then pick up for the next episode. So thank you as always for joining. Let me know if there's anything I should be doing or not doing. And um, really appreciate you. Have a cup of tea. Uh, if Izzo was here, she would say that. So have a cup of tea. And I'll catch you next time.